Well, as the entire country is waiting for that soft landing to happen and a successful one as well, why does it matter exactly that Chandrayaan-3 uh, lands successfully and how exactly is it going to change India's fortune? Let me break it down for you. So, num uh, number one, it shows India's tech prowess in space exploration. Especially after the failure of uh, Russia's Luna 25, it becomes altogether important for us that uh, Chandrayaan-3 does a successful uh, landing. Now, it will boost uh, morale of scientific, uh, uh, scientific community as well. Yes, we saw a lot of uh, dreams, a lot of hopes shattering uh, last time uh, during Chandrayaan-2's uh, soft landing. That, that is why this time it becomes altogether important for us to do a successful landing. Well, uh, reason number three is mission will foster a sense of national pride. As I already mentioned, the entire nation is praying for a successful soft landing of Chandrayaan-3 today. Reason number four becomes it promotes uh, indigenous research and development. Remember, it is very important uh, because we are aiming to find ice water and frozen water there on the moon. We will be studying the mineral composition of the surface of the moon as well. Reason number five is sector has potential to create lakhs of jobs. Of course, it's going to create a lot of jobs and hopes uh, in uh, the young as, uh, uh, aspirants who are aiming to go for the scientific community. Reason number six becomes attract more private investment in space tech. Entire world is eyeing on India as India might become the fourth country uh, with a successful moon mission. Now, reason number seven it positions India among the top four tech advanced nations, as I just mentioned. Uh, it is a uh, former USSR, China, and US in the list. Now, India might become the fourth power. Reason number eight is it paves way for more international collaborations. Of course, as I mentioned before, the entire uh, world is eyeing at India for a successful space mission today after the failure of uh, Russia's uh, Luna 25. I have seen in News 18's uh, Harish Upadhyay joining me live early morning. Harish, a very good morning to you. What latest details are you picking up uh, from the ground? Well, uh, as Isro has said, everything has been checked multiple times. Regular checks are going on. Uh, the mission is going as planned. And uh, as Isro said, there's a lot of excitement uh, in the mission operation complex here in Bengaluru. Uh, remember, although this has been launched from Sri Harikota, it's uh, the Isro's uh, telemetry tracking and command center here in Bengaluru, which is almost a nerve center for this mission from where all commands will go out. A lot that happens today uh, from uh, a little over 5 to 6, 4 p.m. Uh, is something that's already programmed. Uh, uh, onboard uh, program will ensure that this soft landing happens, but uh, ISRO carrying out all last minute checks to ensure that this smooth landing, soft landing can happen as planned. And uh, by around, uh, just for around uh, 6, 4 p.m., uh, by then perhaps you will have that good news of uh, India successfully landing on surface of moon. At the same time, remember, there's a lot more that happens uh, once the soft landing happens. Yes, that's the big challenge for ISRO. But once that's done, uh, the kind of scientific experiments that ISRO plans to carry out on the surface of moon, the payloads that are part of the lander and as well as the rover will carry out multiple experiments on the surface of moon and the entire scientific community uh, looking forward to the kind of insights and details that would come out of uh, this particular scientific experiment that will be carried out on moon. Several experts that we have spoken to saying that uh, what comes out of that could have immense value for India's future space exploration programs, not just India but uh, several other space agencies across the world. Uh, what is the composition of uh, the surface of the moon? Are there uh, elements that would be beneficial for future scientific experiments or uh, perhaps at some point in time retrieving samples from the surface of moon and bringing back to Earth? That's something that might happen in the near future, in the next decade or so is what several experts are pointing out. And also uh, the larger goal of uh, looking at having a space station on the surface of the moon which perhaps would become uh, almost a pit stop of sorts for exploring space f further from there. That's something that's on the minds of uh, scientists who would be keenly watching the kind of insights that would come uh, from the experiments being carried out that will be carried out uh, by uh, the payloads that are currently on board uh, both the rover and the lander. Well, Harish, uh, I would request you to please hold on because we have some more facts to break out uh, to our viewers as 